If there's one thing we can say with certainty about our bodies, it's that they're both organised and efficient in their layout. Almost every structure in our body, big or small, is compartmentalised in one way or another to ensure that everything stays where it needs to be. One way which our body achieves this is by the presence of defined spaces, or cavities. For instance, our cranial cavity keeps our brain safely tucked in our head, and our abdominal cavity packs in over 7 metres of gut to absorb anything worth taking from that burger you had for lunch. Our thoracic cavity is also an interesting space, with its bony cage protecting your heart and lungs, but between our lungs is a special yet somewhat anatomically complex region whose name alone often rings horror to anatomy students all over. But don't fear, that's why we're here. I assure you it's safe to come out, because today we're going to master the anatomy of the mediastinum. So let's get down to business and see what the fuss is all about. So we've established that the mediastinum is located roughly on the midline of our body, between the pleural cavities of the thorax. In our tutorial today, we're going to be looking at the anatomy of this space with these two illustrations, with both right and left lateral views of the thorax. So let's take a moment to define some of the anatomical boundaries of the mediastinum as a whole. Anteriorly, the mediastinum is limited by the anterior thoracic wall, which is comprised of the sternum, as well as the costal cartilages of the first to fifth ribs, which you can see here highlighted in green. The posterior boundary of the mediastinum is marked by the vertebral bodies of the superior thoracic vertebrae. Knowing the anterior and posterior borders of the mediastinum, we can now define the superior most border of the mediastinum as the superior thoracic aperture, delineated by the manubrium of the sternum following around the superior border of the first rib to the T1 vertebral body. Of course, laterally, since the mediastinum is located between the pleural sacs, the parietal pleura of each lung provides the lateral border for each side of the mediastinum. And finally, the inferior boundary of the mediastinum is formed by the respiratory diaphragm, which you can see just over here. So to give our borders a little bit more context, let's take an alternative look at the mediastinum by looking at the diaphragm from a superior perspective. And here you can, so here you can get a better idea of the space occupied by the mediastinum. Okay, now let's get into the nitty gritty of what the mediastinum is all about. So, as typical anatomists, we like to divide things up into smaller divisions to make it easier for us to explore, and of course the mediastinum is no different. So the mediastinum as a whole can be subdivided into two major divisions, and firstly we have the superior mediastinum, which is found superior to an imaginary line, known as the thoracic plane, intersecting the sternal angle anteriorly, and the T4 to T5 intervertebral disc posteriorly. And of course if we have a superior, there must also be an inferior mediastinum, this video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.